So HP have just launched two brand new shiny laptops for 2024, including the one that I have here, which is their AI PC called the EliteBook X360 1040 G11, which as the name suggests, is a 360 degree rotatable screen laptop powered by the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 processor. And it might just be the best business focused two in one laptop of 2024 so far, with up to 20 hours of battery life, full touchscreen and pen support, Windows 11 Pro, up to 32 gigabytes of dual channel LPDDR5X memory, and there's a new sheriff in town because we now have a CPU, GPU, and a dedicated MPU, all within that Intel Core Ultra processor, which offers stark feature improvements on previous models, as you'll see. Now, HP do also offer a more traditional clamshell version, the EliteBook 1040 G11, which is a little lighter due to the slightly differing hinge design, but largely has a similar design language and feature set. But what are those features, and what sets this necessarily apart from the rest in a very crowded market? What do I like? What do I think could be improved? Well, firstly, let's talk AI. Now, I know what you're thinking, not that word again, the buzzword of 2024, everything is AI related, just like 5G before it. But the AI I'm referencing here is real world usage and things that I actually think might help you in your day to day. Like your very own AI companion in the form of Copilot with the help of this dedicated physical keyboard button. Copilot is a conventional chat interface and lets you search for specific information, generate text and summaries and create images based on text prompts. Impressive stuff as is the battery life, which also uses AI. In testing, the X360 can last around 20 hours on a single charge for video playback with the speakers on, thanks to the 68 watt hour battery. Now within the My HP app, you can manage battery performance with AI enabled battery health manager, but it doesn't just stop there because HP have something known as HP Smart Sense, where they've redesigned the circuitry so that when the laptop is not under heavy workload, just viewing a web page, for example, it's able to drop into a state that draws far less power from the battery. Battery. When selected, HP Smart Sensor looks to optimize performance and battery life, giving you the boost when you need it, when it's important, but then favoring battery life when you don't. It also helps to find the right balance between a quiet user experience and maintaining a cool temperature for better performance. It can ramp up the 2x high density turbo fans when you're partaking in resource intensive tasks like video or photo editing, gaming, or things like graphical programs and large scale data analysis. But at the same time, if you're watching a movie or simply browsing the web, you'll get this lovely, quiet, serene experience. 40% quieter, apparently, than the previous gen. Obviously, if you're not bothered about fan noise, you can just leave them blaring away so you get optimum performance all day long, if you require. The machine also uses something known as Intelligent Hibernate, where using sensors inside, the laptop can actually tell whether it's on a desk, like here, or in your bag, being carried, or even on your lap so it can drop into a kind of deep sleep mode if it's not being used. And I mentioned about being on your lap, if it is there, it can actually tell and drop the core temperature by up to five degrees Celsius until it's in a better place with better ventilation. No more burning thighs. Likewise, if it senses you're kind of on the go using it fairly regularly, it's ready to be up and running really quickly. And if it's on a table with good ventilation and you're working, it can maximize performance. Now in terms of design, there's only so many ways you can cook an egg, right? If that analogy works. A laptop is a laptop. But that's not to say the HP Elite X360 isn't sleek and very premium looking. And made from recycled aluminium, it's built extremely solidly. And it's even undergone 19 military standard 810H tests and 120K hours HP total test process. So this is the Glacier Silver coloring, which I think looks, as I said, pretty nice and sleek indeed. And it's also been applied with a matte finish that is very resistant to fingerprints and smudges, which is always welcome. One finger lid test. Mm, not quite. So. Not perfect. And the 14 inch 16 by 10 screen, whilst it does have an anti-glare and HP Easy Eye attributes, at 400 nits, it's not the brightest on the market. So using it in direct bright sunlight might not be optimal, but outside in the shade or using indoors, it's completely, as you can see, more than bright enough. And that anti-glare works brilliantly to avoid those annoying light reflections. And the hinge is really nice and sturdy too. There's really, hardly any 
wobble at all, which is great. As mentioned, that screen can rotate all the way around, so you can go from a more traditional clamshell work mode to tent or stand mode if you prefer, possibly using it as a second display option or watching movies, all the way through to a tablet-like mode. This also makes it ideal for using the touchscreen, which is really nice and responsive with 10 touch points. And the compatible HP rechargeable Active Pen Gen 3 opens up a whole new area of creativity, great for sketching, etc., with precise inking. Even though I'm probably not the best person to showcase this, as my art skills are next to non existent. You've got a larger keyboard and click pad for easier navigation, and the click pad has a really nice firm click to it. And the keyboard is really firm and premium too. There's next to no flex at all here, which is really good. And typing is quiet and comfortable. Like I said, it's not the lightest laptop I've ever used at 1.39 kilograms, but for what you get, it's still really nice and portable. You can absolutely chuck it in a bag probably wouldn't chuck it. In terms of ports, you have an HDMI 2.1, two Thunderbolt 4 USB Type-C, and a 3.5 millimeter audio mic jack on one side, and another Type-C USB A 3.2 Gen 1, nano SIM card reader, and nano lock slot on the other. So it's pretty stacked, and while I don't have an SD card on here, which is a bit of a shame on this one, there is an option to add one if you wanted to. And by having Type-C on both sides, is ideal for connections and charging, etc. because there's nothing worse than having to bend the cable around the outside in order to do that. So what is this MPU all about? And what does it do in this case? Well, it stands for Neural Processing Unit, and it joins the CPU and GPU to give three productivity engines all within that Intel Core Ultra processor. The CPU focuses on handling a wide variety of instructions from running systems, productivity software, and many other general applications. However, for more intensive tasks, anything heavily graphics-based, video editing, gaming, this is where the GPU comes in. But the MPU is a specialized processor specifically designed for executing machine learning algorithms. They're optimized for handling complex mathematical computations integral to artificial neural networks. And that may sound very, very wordy, but in layman's terms, this MPU helps sustained AI tasks like using Windows Studio FX and creating real-time background blur during a video call. With its dedicated low-power AI engine, and automatic framing where the camera will track your movements to keep you in focus even if you move around, stand up, leave your chair to go and grab a coffee. Additionally, eye contact technology will compensate your eyes when you're looking at the screen to make it look like you're actually looking at the camera because there is a difference and before it would look a little bit off if you're meant to look at the camera because that's the person's eyes technically whereas you're looking lower at the screen th that sometimes felt a bit off just feels more natural for the other person on the end of the call now the actual camera lens isn't the highest megapixel count at just five megapixels but it's sharp at 1440p impressive for a webcam it has an 88 degree field of view and you have the new dynamic color tuning, which senses ambient light and room color temperature and helps to make sure your images still look correctly white balanced with natural skin tones, even when you have really colorful background lights going on, for example, or colorful walls. This can often be very difficult for a webcam to get its head round. You also have this really nifty privacy slider up the top here. So if you don't want your camera to be on, slide it across, and jobs are good in. And on top of the good video, the audio it offers is pretty impressive too, largely down to the collaboration with Poly Studio. They've helped tune the studio quality mics, and there are quad speakers. You have a studio mode, which provides optimal frequency range for top quality stereo recordings with upgraded studio quality microphones. And again, when talking about AI, we have AI-based noise reduction, which filters inbound and outbound noise. Dogs barking, sirens, people trimming hedges like people over the back there. Grr. Furthermore, the HP Dynamic Voice Leveling automatically adjusts the microphone gain so that even if you move up to three meters away from the laptop, your voice still sounds really nice and clear. So again, great for those that work from home, for example, and you wanna just jump and grab your coffee, which you've left over there, or you're going and picking up some paperwork, for example, documents, you, you don't have to be rigid to be 
audible. As a result, this laptop is great for business professionals that have a lot of video conference calls, Zoom meetings, in the office and from home. And of course, to run alongside that, you have the latest Windows 11 Pro, which has all of those applications and features that you know and love. And it's really nice and snappy, customizable. And I really like the instant face unlock, for example, to log in. No need to be inputting passwords every time. Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7 options with a 5G version also available. And apparently this is the world's first business PC to protect firmware against quantum computer hacks. The screen has HP Shoreview Reflect technology, so that helps to protect your sensitive information by blocking prying eyes from the sides. Basically limits the readability. And if your laptop is lost or stolen, you also have something known as HP Wolf Security, including HP Wolf Protect and Trace and HP Sure Recover Gen 5 for that peace of mind that it will be remotely located and quickly secured by locking or wiping its data. And HP have managed to do all of this whilst also focusing on sustainability. Recycle fishing nets in the keyboard, 30% ocean bound plastic in the speaker box and 100% sustainably sourced packaging. So who is this for then? I mean, other than me, Adam Butcher, as you can see. No, it's not on there. There you go, Adam Butcher, that's who it's for, all right? Back off, it's mine. The way I see it, it's for two main types of people. Number one is the senior professional. They manage teams, they're fairly heavy with their usage, with demanding business programs, etc. so they need the power. Yet they also need it to be efficient with solid battery life and the peace of mind that just kind of works. But it's also for those that are on the road a lot, possibly work in an office, but also from at home, traveling out to see clients. And they have often long hours, so they need great battery life and they need to be able to take it with them. It needs to be portable, able to put it in the car, in their bag, they're from one meeting to the next. So again, they just need it to kind of work. Up and running fast, just do your job. Now in terms of pricing, the Elite X360 1040G11, woo, those naming schemes. It starts from 1250 pounds, 1250. So it's not incredibly cheap, but equally there are a lot that are more expensive. And I think for everything you get, it's priced accordingly. Thanks again to HP and Intel for sponsoring this first look video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions on this or indeed the clamshell version of their new laptops, let me know in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them or find out for you. I'll also leave a link to the products in the video description below so you can go through and check it out if you want more information. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Follow me on my other social media channels for short form content on this and other tech. My name's Adam, you've been the best as always. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Take your peace out.